everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I'm checking out another great plugin from Denise Audio. This one's called The Sweeper. It's a dynamic frequency sweeper, and it can be used in some really cool ways for electronic music production. So first, let me give you a really basic demonstration and an overview of what this does, and then I'll jump into some more advanced uses. So I have a bass synth here that uh, sounds like this, it's pretty basic. And with the sweeper turned on, it sounds like this. So you can see that the filter is dynamically moving with each note in the bass line. Essentially, this is a dynamic low pass filter at the moment, so it's cutting the highs, allowing the lows, but you can also set this to high pass filter mode as well. You can adjust the slope of the filter here. So a lower setting like 12 dB means there's 12 decibels of attenuation happening per octave. So this will give you a less drastic of a filter swept effect. And this can go all the way up to 48 dB per octave for a more drastic effect. You can adjust the start position of the cutoff frequency here by moving this white dot, and then you can adjust the end position of the cutoff frequency here with the yellow dot. Now right now the cutoff is moving upward toward the end point with each note that's being played, but you can actually flip this by clicking here. You can adjust the resonance of the cutoff frequency here. Resonance in filters is essentially feedback at the cutoff frequency, and this will give you a more intense filter sweep when you pull this up. You also have an input and output gain control, but because the signal is passing through a filter, the input gain is not just a volume control, it can kind of be used almost like a saturation control. Because the filter sweep changes over time, it's controlled by an envelope. The attack and release of the envelope can be controlled here. With a quick attack time, the cutoff moves quickly from the start to the end point. With a slow attack, this moves more gradually. Likewise, the release time controls how quickly the cutoff moves from the end point back to the start point. The bias controls the depth of the modulation. So the cutoff frequency will always follow the start point wherever you set it, but the depth of the sweep will change as you pull up or pull down the bias. So the depth is going to control, and the bias is going to control how far the sweep gets up to the end point. Here's another example of a synth with a repeating pulsing pattern with each note re-triggering the sweeper. So when you use the flip button to flip the motion of the sweeper, 
essentially the end point becomes the start point and the start point becomes the end point. And so this affects how the attack bias and release controls work as well. With a lower bias, this is gonna keep the starting point closer to the yellow dot with this pulled up. It's gonna modulate it deeper and pull it closer toward the white dot. So things sort of work in reverse when you turn that flip button on. Now, so far, that's just a basic overview of the features of the sweeper. However, the magic of this plugin is that you can tie this to a sidechain input source like drums or other instruments. So right now I have this on some just basic whole note chords, and it's not doing a whole lot. I can adjust the resonance and bias and other controls, but it's not really acting too much differently than just a static filter would. It's moving a little bit, but not a lot. So what I can do is I can choose a sidechain input source from up here. So I'll choose the kick drum track, turn on my sidechain button here, and what this will do is it'll make the sweeper react to the volume of the kick drum. <laughs> So every time the kick drum hits, the filter is opening. And likewise, if I flip this, it'll do the opposite. So now I can give the sweeper some rhythmic motion. Next, I'll try this out on an arpeggiated synth lead. So here's what this sounds like with the sidechain input off. So it's pretty cool on its own. Each note is getting that filter sweep. But if I turn on the side chain input, it's gonna hit harder when the kick drum plays. And again, if you want to reverse the motion, you just use the flip button. Next, I'll use this on an arpeggiated bass line and I'll use this in conjunction with a limiter placed after the sweeper, and I'll really pull up the input signal to saturate it, really bring out the low uh, bass frequencies, and filter out a lot of the, the buzziness in the signal, but still giving the bass some character. So here's what this sounds like without sweeper in. So the bass has motion, but it's not really going anywhere texturally. So I'll turn this on. I've got the sidechain input set to the kick drum once again. Also, don't forget about automation. Any of the controls within the Sweeper plugin can be automated using your DAW's built-in automation. So here I'm starting the bias control kind of high and then slowly pulling it down over time. Now, because I have the flip button on, this is actually uh, sort of doing the, the opposite effect. This is actually gonna give the Sweeper more presence slowly across an eight bar period. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, I could keep going on and on and on with different musical examples because there's so much you can do with this plugin, but to keep this video somewhat concise, I'm just going to show you one more. In this example, I have this sort of one-shot piano key loop that's playing every two bars. It's got some reverb and there's some uh, built-in crackle that's just right in the loop. What I'm doing is busing this over to an aux uh, channel with some reverb. And the reverb is just drawing out the sound longer. Then I have the Tremolo plugin uh, in Logic pulled up, and this is just giving it a bit of a pulsing motion. And then after that, I have the Sweeper plugin pulled up, and once again, the sidechain input is the kick drum. So I'm using this aux track as a way to generate another pulsing sound that has a moving filter sweep on it that's based on the kick drum. So that's the sweeper from Denise Audio. You can check this out at denise.io, and I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. If you liked this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you'd like to make a monthly contribution to the channel, you can also check me out at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. Thanks for the support, and thanks for watching.